a nice couple brought in this little cute little Maltese cross and she was straining to have these babies. Um, after 30 minutes or an hour the couple brought her in and um, I looked at her and I'll show you the x-ray in a minute and decided she needs a, she needed a shot of oxytocin and calcium to start her having her babies. Well if you look at the x-ray here you can see close up that the baby's heads are in the uterus in the abdomen and if you look around the head you'll see the stripes that mean that the ribs are present and the baby's heads have to go through the birth canal and we'll show that in the next x-ray uh, the baby there's only one baby left in this x-ray because this happened after she had the others and the baby's head has to go through that birth canal and that's what I look at when I look at the x-rays. But if you want to look real close, I'll show you what happened after a shot of oxytocin and calcium. There's that baby. Now, Mama's going to look right back there, and she's real proud of what she did. And our job, and your job if you do see this, is to take the baby and get rid of that membrane on the outside. It's amnion. You won't hurt anything. The baby needs to get rid of that membrane in order to breathe and take air into its lungs. So that's what we're doing there. We're getting rid of that membrane and uh, then you can see Robin has uh, kind of got this gooey string coming from its navel. That's its umbilical cord and she's going to trim that off um, so that the babies uh, won't have that trailing membrane and you don't want to just pull it off because every once in a while you can cause a little hole in the muscles there. Uh, that's called an umbilical hernia. So you dry up the baby uh, and get it all st stimulated to breathe. If any dog strains for a long period of time and you see a kind of a clear membrane and then kind of a whitish membrane, if they strain for more than half hour an hour, it means they're not going to have it. They need help. And you can either reach in there and pull it, the baby out, or you can need to take it to your veterinarian to help uh, give some shots of oxytocin and calcium and help that mama have the baby. You can reach your fingers in and see if you can grab little legs and pull gently while she contracts. That may help. It may just get everything started. Well, you know why they have to lick the babies? Get them started breathing and get them started to uh, pee and poop. Um, just like they say, it takes a licking to keep them ticking. And make sure you're feeding the, your dogs the right things. In my book Dog Dish Diet, I talk, talk to you all about the right foods and treats to feed your dogs. Here's Dr. Greg, Bon Appetit.